In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about noise gates in the next 92 seconds. A noise gate is an audio plugin that allows only loud sounds to pass through. You can think of it like a door. If there's a quiet sound like a singer's breath or a guitar noise, the door stays shut and no sound can be heard. If the sound is loud enough like the actual vocalist singing or somebody strumming a guitar, the door opens up and can be heard. First, that might not seem very helpful, but here are three real world examples where a noise gate will save you a bunch of time while producing. You can clean up live recorded drums with mic bleed by adjusting the noise gate to only open when the drum that you want to hear is playing. Or you could put it on a vocal performance to get rid of the breaths between words. Or you could put it on a noisy guitar amp to turn it off when the guitar stops playing. And here's how you use it. There are a few parts of the noise gate that you should know. The threshold is the amount of volume it takes to open the door. The attack is how fast the gate will open after the threshold has been reached. The release is how fast the door closes after the sound falls below the threshold. Hold will tell the door to stay open even after the sound goes under the threshold. This helps the gate to not abruptly cut the sound off. And ratio determines how much volume will be taken away from the signal when the gate is closed. Negative 100 decibels will probably get rid of all of the sounds and negative 10 decibels will give a milder effect. This milder effect is known as ducking. By using a noise gate, you can make sure that the only important sounds come through and the unwanted noise stays out. But more importantly, when used correctly, you'll find yourself having much cleaner recordings. If you like this video on noise gates, you'll like the quick video I made that explains distortion in 111 seconds you can watch right up here.